Welcome to ETH Daily, a daily briefing on the latest in Ethereum. It's been seven years since the launch of Ethereum, the WNBA issues its first POAP NFT, LensTube introduces short-form videos, and DeFi Llama reveals plans for a portfolio tracker. All this and more from ETH Daily starts right now. It's now been seven years since the launch of the Ethereum blockchain. On July 30, 2015, Ethereum's Genesis block was mined into existence, referred to as the Frontier launch. Frontier, the first mainnet release of Ethereum, provided miners with a block reward of 5 ETH per block. Ethereum was the first smart contract blockchain. Over the years, Ethereum has undergone several upgrades, including Homestead, the DAO fork, and Metropolis. Each upgrade has improved the usability of the protocol and has given rise to ICO fundraising, DAOs, DeFi, NFTs, and Layer 2 networks. Ethereum now holds the largest developer community and has held its position as the leading altcoin over the past three years. The WNBA issued its first POAP NFT during the 2022 WNBA Commissioner's Cup on July 26. Attendees of the Coinbase-sponsored events had the chance to scan a QR code on the Jumbotron at the Wintrust Arena. Roughly 700 email addresses were submitted via the QR code. Instructions on how to claim the POAP NFT were then sent over email. A total of 91 POAP NFTs were claimed by attendees of the Las Vegas Aces vs. Chicago Sky game. POAP's enterprise team had worked closely with the WNBA to issue the collectible badge. The WNBA shared a flyer with details about the POAP, stating that collectors will be able to unlock future WNBA rewards and benefits. The Optimism Vault on Price Savings Protocol Pull Together is now live. In addition to Pull Together's daily raffles, USDC depositors on the Optimism Network will also receive a share of OP tokens. A total of 100,000 OP tokens are being distributed over 28 days. The OP rewards come from the Optimism Ecosystem Fund, which supports proposals that bring sustainable growth to the Optimism Network. The current APR on Pull Together inclusive of OP rewards is roughly 9%. Since the launch of OP tokens in May, Optimism has more than doubled its total value locked to more than $1.2 billion. LensTube, an open source video sharing platform built on top of Lens Protocol, has added support for short form video clips called LensTube Bytes. To upload a byte, users simply add the byte to their video. Lens users are able to mint bytes as NFTs, like bytes, and mirror bytes across the Lens ecosystem. LensTube uses Rweave's bundler network to store videos permanently on IPFS. Anyone with a Lens handle is now able to use LensTube to watch or upload videos. Swell Network, a liquidity staking platform, announced that it pushed its mainnet release candidate to production. According to the project, Swell Network is one step away from mainnet and anticipates to go live ahead of the merge. Swell also allows node operators to set their own branding and commission rate within the protocol via the Swell dApp. The protocol is currently live on the Gorly testnet for stakers and node operators. And lastly, DeFi analytics platform DeFi Llama revealed that it will launch an open source, permissionless, and privacy conscious portfolio tracker called Llama Folio. The landing page for LlamaFolio.com only states that the new application is coming soon. DeFi Llama is the largest TVL aggregator for DeFi, providing data and analytics from more than 100 chains. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories from ETH Daily. You can support this podcast by subscribing and leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.substack.com. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.